Now, today we'll be going over what's called reduction of order in differential equation. And just like the name suggests, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Whenever we have a high order differential equation, we use we utilize this method such that we will be able to solve it such as a first order differential equation, which simplifies things quite a bit. Now, for these particular cases, we'll be assuming we have already one of the solutions of the differential equation, and we're going to be solving for another solution in order to get the general solution of the differential equation. So we'll be utilizing one of the solutions of the differential equations to start. Now, one thing that I perhaps forgot to mention is whenever we're solving for the second um, solution of the differential equation, they are linearly independent. So the two functions, so first we have the original function that was given of the differential equation solution. Then we use the, this method of reduction of order to find the second solution. They will be linearly independent, therefore the general solution is just the, the addition of these with the constant, the arbitrary constants as seen in the other video of linearly dependence and independence. So for our first example, we have the second derivative y with respect to x, take away y is equal to zero. Now the first, the one of the solutions of this differential equation is given y1 is equal e to the x. So for the first step here, you just multiply by this variable that we added, u. So let y equals e to the x times this, ver this um, variable u. So from here, since we already have this function, we could go ahead and plug it into the differential equation. But of course, we need to get the second derivative of this. So we will be applying the, the product rule here. So as you can see, the product rule here. And so y prime is equal to u times e to the x plus e to the x du dx, which is co could be simplified. And e to the x could be factored out, which gives you this. Now we're, we need to solve the second derivative. So after gain the second derivative of y and then simplifying a bit, you end up with this. Now since you have your, you have your y and your second derivative, you just plug these into your original differential equation and let's go ahead and plug it in so once you plug it into the differential equation you get e x u double prime plus 2 e x u plus e x u take away this so of course this cancels and then you're left with this of course we need to simplify this so the second order um, part won't have a coefficient there so divide both sides of the equation by e to x and it simplifies a little bit further so with here, your second derivative u with respect to x plus 2 du dx. Since they're with respect to the same variable, we can actually integrate here on both sides. So you have du dx plus 2u is equal to arbitrary constant c1 here. Now, one thing to notice this is now you just reduced the order of the differential equation. Originally, it was a second order. Now you reduced it to your first order. And if you remember, you have your P of X as well as your G of X here. Now, now if you remember how to solve first order linear differential equation, you get this integrating factor e to the power of the integral of P of X dx. And then you multiply both sides of this equation by it. And we'll go from there. So we get e to the 2x, multiply both sides of the differential equation. Now from here, essentially, it's nothing more than the product rule. You get the same differential equation. Then you integrate both sides to solve. For the, for, to solve. So you have e to the 2x times u is equal to arbitrary constant 1, e to the 2x divided by 2 plus another arbitrary constant. Of course, arbitrary constant divided by 2 is another arbitrary constant, so we could replace this by just another now let's just call this one C2 and this one will be C3. So here you go, then get rid of, get rid of the e to a 2x on that side, divide this by that, u is equal to C2 plus C3 e to a negative 2x. Now, since we already know y is equal e to x times u, you just plug it in here, and then you basically solve for the general solution of the differential equation. And so here it is. This is the reduction of order method. Now, one thing to note, this essentially was the solution that was given. And then we found another one and we just added them up because they're linearly independent, which basically makes up the general solution of the differential e equation. Fortunately, 
fortunately enough, we don't have to be going over these steps over and over again. There's a there's an equation that you could just plug and play to get the solution, general solution right off the bat, essentially. Now, one thing to keep in mind is with this equation for to utilize for the redu reduction of order is specifically for a second order differential equation of this um, form. You see the px and q of x. So as long as it's within this form, you're able to utilize this equation. So this is the equation you'll be utilizing to, to solve for the for a second solution of the differential equation that will give you the general solution of it. So this is the reduction of order method for a second order linear differential equation of this form. Instead of doing the process that I showed you earlier, you could actually just plug and play to this equation and basically skip many steps. So let's go over an example that will utilize this equation for the reduction of order. So we have y double prime plus 2y prime plus y is equal to 0 and one of the solutions of this differential equation is y1 is equal to x e to the negative x. So let's go ahead and plug in to this formula and get the second solution. So our y2 of x is equal to x e to the negative x times the integral of 1 divided by the x squared e to a negative 2x times e to a negative 2x, right? It's the negative integral p of x, d of x with respect to x. So one thing I didn't mention is this um, second order differential equation is in the form of you have your p of x here and your ha you have your q of x here. All right, so these two cancel out and let's do some simplifications. So we finally have our second solution which is y2 is equal to negative e to the negative x. So it's a lot more, it's a lot faster, definitely for sure. And so since the y1 and y2 functions are linearly independent, then the general solution would be a summation of these two functions with arbitrary constants. So this is the reduction of order method for the second order linear differential equation in the standard form.